playing hooky first like, game. <laughs> he's gonna miss at minimum fifteen games. At minimum, we I think we can agree on that, right? Yeah. It, yeah, it would be shocking me, if he played sixty eight or something. To me, you gotta yeah, maximize. 68 to is, me, you gotta maximize. To me, it's smart. He's, I he's, get it that nobody yeah. likes it, but it, you have to maximize what you can bring to the table, not minimize it. And if he tries to play seventy two games, eighty games, he's minimizing what he can bring to the table, not maximize. Players like that have a blemish to me, like Kawhi Leonard. Uh, you don't, know, players. don't even talk to me about that. No, it's, I'm on the same <laughs> but, boat. But, Whatever, but, however but you feel. How? Why does? Why does he have a blemish? I just look. He's at a it. champion. We 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 create this sports culture where oh, if, you don't, you, if you don't if you don't win, <laughs> you're a <laughs> bum. <laughs> if you don't win, you're a bum. Kawhi won. He's not a bum. There's yeah. no blemish. He's a champion. It's just Joel and B, a member of my uh, Philadelphia 76ers, a team I and dear uh, so very much dearly, and. Um, <laughs> You know, first he came out. We kind of talked about how he said um, he wasn't, he doesn't uh, ever foresee himself playing in back-to-back games again. And uh, then uh, it, news rung out that he wasn't going to play in the season opener. Him and Paul George. And then you got a bunch of old guys coming out and, and talking trash about it. And then Kevin Garnett, Kill O'Neal, Charles Barkley. They hate it. They don't like it. Uh, what do you guys think? I'll save my take for the end. I hate it. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm, you know. I think you just need to play, and you find a rhythm, and, and you, you just gut through it. And if your body breaks down, it breaks down, and you go find something else to do. Um, oh, man. <laughs> but is, is he – is this, is him not playing back-to-back games – and this is a question for you, Bubba. Was this a statement that he just made, or is there – is like this under medical advice that you're not supposed to play back to back. I mean, so like one thousand percent under medical advice. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, so yeah, it's yeah, basically the, the, just the acknowledging team. what the medical team is yeah. telling him to do. Yeah. Well, how many back to back? This is not. This miss? is not a decision under Joel and B. Yeah. Like how many so, are there in a season? Philly has fifteen. Maybe. He would miss seven to eight if he did half. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen back to back games. So they, he would miss seven to eight games depending yeah, on what he played. I, I mean, to me, it's not a big deal. But At the end of the day, it's not a big deal because he, has he ever played 82 games? Has he ever played 75 games in a year? No. No. It. Yeah, no. I didn't think so anyway. No. So, I mean, this, this doesn't really change what he brings to the table. So, I mean, it's kind of meaningless. And, again, if it's under the medical team's advice, it's not him just popping off with some comment that, you know, doesn't go over well. But, I mean, just personally, I think when you don't play, it just it just causes more problems, man. Yeah, I do, too. I do, especially with that brand-new team. They need to – he needs to play. That's the only way they're going to get better. And you have all these mouths to feed now. He's not going to be touching the ball as much. So he has to develop a rhythm, when to score, how to score, what time it's his time, what time it's Paul George time. And you don't get that unless you play with someone else consistently. But, but is eight games going to make a difference? In the playoffs, when they're playing teams that have been together for He's two not years, eight that's games eight the games that he plans to miss. But a Joel Embiid, how often is yeah. he injured throughout well, the season? Yeah. It, it, right, but he's not planning for those, so we can't speak on what. But he's we not already planning have one for. right now, so we we know yeah, Embiid's track record game. previously. We're already at nine fucking games. Con- yeah, yeah bro, <laughs> he's continuously <laughs> injured every year. He's playing hooky first like, game. <laughs> he's gonna miss at minimum fifteen games at minimum. We I think we can agree on that, right? Yeah. It, yeah, it would be shocking if he played sixty eight or something. To me, you gotta maximize. To me, you gotta maximize. To me, it's smart. He's, I get it that nobody yeah. likes it, but it, you have to maximize what you can bring to the table, not minimize it. And if he tries to play 72 games, 80 games, he's minimizing what he can bring to the table, not maximize. Players it. like that have a blemish to me, like Kawhi Leonard. Uh, you don't, know, players. don't even talk to me about that. No, it's, I'm on the same <laughs> but, boat, but, whatever, but, however but you feel. How, why, does, why does he have a blemish? I just look He's at a it. champion. We 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 create this sports culture where oh, if you don't you if you stuff. don't win, <laughs> you're a <laughs> bum. If you don't win, you're a bum. Kawhi won. He's not a bum. There's yeah. no blemish. He's a champion. Sure. And guess what? The year that he became a champion, before the season, they said Kawhi Leonard is not gonna play any back to backs. Kawhi Leonard only played sixty games. Not even that. It was like fifty eight, fifty nine games. Yeah. He was healthy throughout the entire playoffs. They won the championship. And guess what? Before the season, during the season, Charles Barkley, Kevin, uh, uh, and all of those old guys, oh, man, he said he's not going to play any back-to-backs. Uh, this is why I hate the game. And then he's not even going to be healthy anyway. Who cares? And guess what? It, it, he was healthy. And he killed the playoffs. He was the best player in the NBA that year and the playoffs. Now, they tell you all the time the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over. Joel Embiid. Over and over again, he tries to play as many games as he can to the dismay of the medical team. There is a beef between Joel and B and the medical team because the medical team wants Joel and B to sit out games. Joel and B does not want to sit out games ever. 
And he always breaks down in the playoffs. Some of them are freak injuries, but it is what it is. That is what it is. So if you want to just keep doing it every year, saying I'm going to play maximum amount of games, you know, and, and I think for him it was mostly because he really wanted the MVP, because he really wanted personal accolades, and I think that's really why he wanted to play every game he possibly could in the regular season. But he's done that. And he hasn't been healthy in the playoffs. So, the way so I, I want him. I want. I do want them to try this. See where it goes. It got Kawhi Leonard a championship. I mean, I guess you could look at it like that. I just feel like the way I look at Philly is like Philly's like a broke man, and a broke man has to use his car every day, and that's the car they're using. I don't think they have the luxury. They don't. They're not the rich man. They don't have the luxury of other teams where they can sit certain players or or do that right now. He is their their focal point he is their offense so i think again i'm not i don't think so was Kawhi leonard uh, he was what would you what would you what, what you, you thought Ka- you thought kyle lowry we do this, we do this on uh, our podcast you thought, kyle, you thought kyle lowry was the offense what do you think pascal, Siakam. pascal became time. pascal that season by the by the end of it but he wasn't pascal yeah before. okay and philly has and philly has he paul george and tyrese maxey Tyrese Maxey is no, the Philly same. has Tyrese Maxey. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you talking like, about? Like, he's the same Bro, level he, of player. Like, it's the was same a top situation. Five player in the NBA that year. He was. He, 100%. Ah. Uh, Philly's no going to be fine. No, I'm with not him saying that he wasn't a top five player. They're going to skirt through. They're going to win at least 48 games with him missing like 20 games a season. It, it, it's going to be an experiment to see if it works. But what happens if it doesn't? What do you, what do you think they do if it if they, they don't make it past the second round again? There's nothing okay. you can do. Nothing. Okay. I'd rather you try this than to keep banging course, your head of, of what doesn't work. There's if it no, doesn't work, then guess what? The last nine years hasn't worked. It's the same, there's it's the no same world exact thing. you have thing. a player of his caliber and you give up. You continue to try until he, until he's – as long as he's willing to try, I'm going to try with you. And that's the same thing the Spurs were going through with Kawhi. As long as you're willing to try, we will try with you. When Kawhi said, fuck it, I don't want to do this anymore because you all trying to make me play and I don't want to play, now we're going to trade you. But it's, as, as long as Embiid shows up to training camp, shows up to the games, we are going to continue to try this until the wheels fall. I didn't want him to training camp. I wanted him to start playing in January every year. Well, yes. That's crazy. <laughs> right before the playoffs start. missing, what, 20 games right off the bat? That's crazy. Hey. Bro, we're at 15. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> hey. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think players like that should have a blemish. That's my opinion. Because you can't, you can't, nah, you, you cannot control. They're not controlling that. They're not deciding to be injured. They're not deciding to miss games. Grant it's, Hill didn't. G Mac didn't. But I look at them the way I look at them. I don't. They, they, they're potential players. Potentially, Grant Hill's you a whole can be different good. situation. Grant Hill never hit his peak because of injury. Neither did T Mac. These players, T Mac hit needed, a peak. Needed, um, well, but I mean, any player that. It's not He's bad, extremely Lemish. talented and and suffers injuries that diminish their ability to participate. The, it's a blemish. The careers, it's a blemish. You call it whatever you want. Yeah, to call but it. guess it what? Ka- Ka- Kawhi Leonard is a greater player than Grant Hill and T Mac. He's call it what you want, but he is. He's no, he, he, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talent wise, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not disagreeing he, with that. He won titles, and, and again, there's a lot of factors that go into the legacy of a player. Yeah, and, yeah. And he, you know, he accomplished winning titles, and so that that puts him in a different space. And than he's some one of the few guys. that can do that with being hurt. There's not a lot of players who are hurt who yeah. win championships. But I mean, but, like, well, but he had his own system and own way of doing it. Uh, when once he, once he started getting injured, yeah, that was him. That wasn't the team. See, this this is Nick the team. Nurse got hired this. that next year too. This is the team doing this for Joel and B. I'm just talking about his, oh, okay, okay. how he wants to set out. Kawhi Leonard had his own plan on how games he wanted yeah, to play, sure, games he sure. didn't want to play, and like and just like Nas said, the Spurs wasn't down with that. Toronto was. And, and, you know, Toronto was starving for anything. Sure. And they said, we'll take it. And, and, and you sit out. You tell us when you want to play. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it worked. Again, it worked. I mean, it also wouldn't have worked if the Warriors didn't disintegrate in front of it. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> we, don't, we, don't, we don't live in that world. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe Kevin Durant should have sat down. Maybe, maybe, maybe Durant should have <laughs> sat his ass down. Maybe Ed so. Clay. I, Clay. But I, I, would, I mean, I, I will always respect him for playing. For sure. Always respect him for playing. Yeah. Uh, well, we're sp- and I respect the loss, and he got to salute Kawhi because he, he he did what was what was needed to do. He did what his body asked him to do. Uh, let me see what uh, this comment says here. Embiid, what is this? I, I can't see shit with these guys. Embiid, <laughs> fresh and rested at seven seed is better than tired Embiid with a second seed. All right. I agree. There we go. Shout yeah, out to yeah, I don't think seeds are important anymore in the playoffs. I think these last couple of years have been uh, kind of. I, I, w- I would want to avoid Boston at all costs. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Other than the racist <laughs> places. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
seeding is definitely a poor. A lot of teams <laughs> suffer because of seeding. Yeah. Like the Lakers I, definitely could have used a higher seed. No, I don't think that would. Honestly, even a lower seed. Lakers don't want to see Denver, and, yeah. and nobody yeah. wants to see Boston. And it, yeah. and then outside of that, I'm kind of with you. It, you know, it, it, whatever, whoever comes, it, it comes. <laughs> Uh, pause if we still doing that these days. <laughs> yes, <we are. laughs> it's a new era. <laughs> oh, it's a new era is crazy. Oh, uh, where are we going here? Where are we going? We're going somewhere here. Oh, first of all, uh, so where, where do you have Philly going? This is just a general question before we move on quickly here. Seed wise? No, no, no. Just uh, uh, do you see them advancing past the second round? No. 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 Okay. So I do not. Okay. Me neither. Unfortunately. Well, his, um, history is on your side, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's possible. I don't. I, I wouldn't. I, wouldn't I bet factored. On it, though. I factored history into my decision. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. That's fair, man. <laughs> I, I I told everybody on Facebook today what they should do is they should download the Hard Rock app. Okay, <laughs> and uh, if if you have it already, that's awesome. Um, what you do is you go to the NBA section. Right now. Okay, <laughs> you go to future bets. Okay, and then you go to the 2024-2025 uh, uh, NBA champion. And then once you get there, the next step you need to do is go check your bank account, uh, checking and savings. Okay, take every single dime that you own out of checking and savings and bet it all on the Philadelphia 76ers to win the 2024-2025 championship. Whoa. All right, that's what you need to do. <laughs> oh, is that what you did? Man. Huh? Financial is that what you burdens. did? I did, I, I, I did a version of that. But, okay. you know, it's, 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 it's you know if, if you're big money and if that's what you want, that's what you should do. What's you're your not, appeal? You're, you're not big money? <laughs> <laughs> What's your appeal on that? I'm on child support. Uh, <laughs> I feel that. That's why. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. As the child, <laughs> <laughs> he's never gonna get fed. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. I, I I don't know what I mean by Miami. What, 